commencement of debate on the general principles of a bill for an act to repeal the Students' Loan Access to Higher Education Act 2023 and enact the Student Loans Access to Higher Education Bill 2024 to establish the Nigeria Education Loan Fund as a body corporate to receive, manage, and invest to provide loans to Nigerians for higher education, vocational training and skills acquisition, and for related matters. Standing in the name of Honorable Leader. Honorable members will recall that the bill was read the first time on Thursday, 14th March 2024. I now invite the Chairman, Committee on Rules and Business, to move for the suspension of Order 12, Rule 41 of the Standing Orders of the House for the bill to be read a second time, and thereafter the leader to move, uh, leader moves the motion. Leader, please can you proceed with the lead debate? And DSSRS, representing the very good people of all one federal constituency, Mr. Speaker, I'm happily from a new state. I think uh, certain things happen at certain periods in the history of nations, and people must rise to the occasion to acknowledge innovation, creativity, commitment, and courage in engaging very difficult and challenging situations. These are very difficult times, a period of transition, of reform, of change. And for me, this is one of the best days I've had in a long time. When I went to the University of Ife, now called Abafemi Awolowo University, I enjoyed the student loans. And without support from poor parents, I had no problems whatsoever scaling through the university and utilizing the facilities of that beautiful institution. This issue of the loan has been in the news for a while. But thank God we have a president who listens, a president who understands the value of education. But more importantly, Mr. Speaker, we have a president who is interested in expanding and deepening access to education for the poor. When the original bill first came out, there were a lot of shortcomings, and it had to be retweeted. And I'm happy to see that this bill is now talking about the need to manage... Honorable Dixon, leader, please step aside if you want to discuss uh, private matter, please. To receive, manage, and invest funds to provide loans to Nigeria for higher education, vocational training, and skills acquisition. Nigeria finally is on the right path. Most countries of the world are putting most funds in TVET, technical vocational education training. They are putting money in STEM, science, technology, engineering, education. And the world is acknowledging that this is an era of nanotechnology, an era of artificial intelligence, an era of creative engineering. The issue of the blue economy did not come from space, but if you do any preliminary reading, you see that some nations are already making billions of dollars by investing in the blue economy, and here we're still at the theoretical stage. So I think this bill is welcome. It has come at the right time when Nigerians need a pat on the back for their patience, for their understanding, for their tolerance of the difficulties that we are facing. But this will open the educational system to more children, children of the poor. They will have access to loans. Uh, in my days at the University of Ife, some got their loans and bought Kawasaki 250. 
It was then sold for less than 100,000 naira. But they were able to pay their fees. They paid departmental dues. They had good meals. And they wore good clothing. This will make sure that the educational system is no longer reserved for the children of the rich or for the children of legislators like me. But now, the ordinary person who wants to go to a do technical college can access this loop. So I want to encourage my colleagues to please support this bill. The content has taken care of effective management security of funds and is ensuring that the abuse that visited the low schemes of the 70s have been cured. And I think that is the beauty here, in addition to opening it up to our people. Our people are crying for this. Let us give it to them and let us continue to walk the high ground that the House of Representatives is currently working, for which people are speaking well of us, that we are truly speaking for the people. Mr. Speaker, I allow me to stop there I so move. Those in support that this bill be read the second time say aye. aye. Those against you say nay. The eyes of it. Clark. Speaker, honorable members, a bill for an act to repeal the Student Loans Access to Higher Education Act 2023 and enact the Student Loans Access to Higher Education Bill 2024 to establish Nigerian Education Loan Fund as a body corporate to receive, manage, and invest funds to provide loans to Nigerians for higher education, vocational training, and skills acquisition, and for related matters. Second reading. Bill referred to the Committee on Student Loans, Scholarship, and Higher Education Financing for further legislative action.